For the last centuries, the Etruscans have been invading from the western seaboard, slowly driving the Umbri towards the Apennine uplands. Most remaining Umbrian towns and cities are now on easily defensible hilltops located along the Apennine Mountains. With a new regional power emerging to the south, old enemies are beginning to reconsider their past hostility. Time to make history. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Imperator Rome, and we are here, not with Rome, but with Umbria. Um, at the bottom, when looking for nations to play, it said that this initial start was h very hard, or hard, so, um, this is gonna be fun. And Umbria quite intrigued me, specifically the description of it. Heritage of the Great Thunderstorm. Coming to being as a settled and identifiable people from the 9th to the 4th centuries BCE, the Umbri spoke the regional language of Umbrian which linguistic group and region are named after. While some ancient authors have considered them to have been of Gallic origin, there was also an understanding that the Umbri may have been the oldest of all Italic peoples called Umbri, or the people of the thunderstorm, on account of surviving the great deluge which flooded the world. If this should be true, then the Umbri survived solely alongside Greek Deucalion, and are as old as the Greeks themselves. In their political structure, there were two great men who supervised rituals and official affairs, members of the Magistry of Uter. Like other Italic peoples, the Umbri borrowed components of Greek culture through trade and migrants from the Greek colonies in Italy. While they waged war with the neighboring Etruscans on many occasions, they were also very open to Etruscan exports and the culture of symposium, accompanied by much wine. We get plus 10% assault ability, which I don't assault a lot, but I guess I will assault a little bit more. Negative 5% country civilization level, which is not good, because that's just going to make us overall worse in development, because civilization essentially works as development in this game. So it's going to make our development overall just worse in any other country. And cause to change Pantheon Deity, I don't know how useful that's going to be. I guess for the early game, they'll be useful to change to more advantageous ones. As for things that I can see here in Decisions, we can convert from Italic to, to Hellenic. At two days from Hellenic Pantheon, that seems like a very easy thing to do. Um, will we do that? I don't know. We'll see. We can also unify the Italian Peninsula. Umbria changes name to Italia. Roman territories owned by Umbria or their subject. Umbria owns at least 65% of the territories in the region of Italia and Magna Gratia. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there'll be a special formable in our missions. Let's actually look at our religion. Let's see what attack is. Morale of armies, pop assimilation, and negative 5% national noble happiness. People of Italy worship a variety of gods before adopting Hellenic ones. From the pre-Indo-European beliefs of the Etrurians and Ratians to the Illyro-Italic beliefs of the Veneti, the South Italic gods of the Sabins, Latins, Umbrians, and more, the Italic pantheon is vast and diverse amongst its followers. Oh, and we have a deity for assault ability. Maybe I can... Hmm... <laughs> Okay, that's giving me some ideas. I mean, the game's essentially telling me to go all in on assault ability, right? Sure, that's exactly what the game is telling me. 15%! What? Why is that so much higher? What? I'm doing that right now. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta look at my missions first, but if I don't need any stability... I'm going to immediately switch this over to Sacni Triumpi Ius. Wow, that's a... Okay. Hidden God of Victory. Yeah, I'm going full in on Assault Ability. <laughs> that's going to be so interesting. I have never played that way. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. All right, we got to pick idea slots, of course. Uh, two military. Two oratory as usual. Probably want to get less corruption. Or improve relations. Prove opinion, maybe. We want to have high opinion with everyone's because we want to probably make a lot of alliances. We already have one alliance. We want to make a lot of alliances because we want to make a huge hug box around Rome, uh, ideally, and then just crush them as soon as possible. But I don't think I really need... Hmm. Yeah, that's just the maximum. That doesn't really help me with just increasing opinion quickly, so we'll just go with corruption. Because if I could do it quickly, it'll be better. Anyways, let's look at our missions. Might of the Thunderers. Locked away in the hills of the Apennine Range, the Umbrian tribes have long been a remote, rural people, though we have occasionally allied against allied threats. 
it has generally been up to individual tribes or settlements to engage in skirmishes with outsiders such as the antagonistic Etruscan cities. Now though, a militaristic state emerges from the Latin lowlands or southwest. In these uncertain circumstances, the Umbrian tribes have once again joined under a grand alliance united to extend our own will across the region. Let us cast down our threats so that we, the Umbrians, may claim hegemony over Italia. This mission will be complete when Umbria has freed the Italic tribes from the Latin yoke and consolidated Italia into a single Umbrian federation. That sounds so awesome. All right, okay, this is cool. Deal with the Etruscans, no. An event will trigger where Umbria can decide whether to ally or rival. I feel honestly the best way to go about it is to ally them because if I were to rival them and like try to attack them, first of all, they're way stronger than me. So it would be hard for me to, you know, destroy them. In the process of me trying to destroy them, the Romans can come in and also just take lands from them and the Romans themselves would just grow stronger. So I would essentially just be crippling the both of us, allowing for the Romans to come in and take what they need. Kind of like how when, uh, well, the Romans, when uh, both the Byzantines and the Sassanids had their 7th century wars, long crippling wars that were completely pointless because they neither of them gained really any meaningful land and then both of them were weakened to the point where uh well uh i think i think you know what happened an event will trigger where umbria can decide whether to ally or rival okay bronze documentation territory civilization level is greater or equal to 35 I, that's definitely doable Latin threat has greater or equal to 90% of maximum manpower. Okay, just don't use any manpower then. So, yeah, of course, so then, yeah. So then, attacking Etru the Etruscans would just not be helpful. Because that would just tank my manpower, then I won't be able to get the claims and get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think it's the right idea to, to ally. Security in the north. Alright, that's just dealing with the, nor the northerners. That's not something I need to worry about right now at all. Okay, then we have Etruscan allies. That's what we're going to try to do. Truria will be called into our war with Rome regardless of any truce they have. Wow. Okay, so we just call them in regardless of if they even want to or not. Okay, that, that's really... You see, it's so much better to, to ally them. Because once we destroy Rome, later on, we could just grow and blob out a little bit in the in the other direction. And then once we get strong enough, we could just attack the Etruscans ourselves. We'll be fine. So, the, the biggest threat by far is Rome. First of all, I don't think I should spend any money. The reason why is because I need to have as much money as possible to get mercenaries and to hold on to them for as long as possible. And then once the Romans are dealt with, then I'll focus on the development side of things. Umbria will get an event to take all of Rome's Italic feudatories, freeing them from Roman control. <laughs> okay. I, I got the I got I got the idea. First thing we're gonna we're gonna do. I think this is perfect because this is exactly what Umbria would. I I feel like the developers, whoever made this mission tree, whoever designed Umbria, I feel like they knew exactly what they were doing and knew exactly what Umbria needed, or really any nation needed to beat Rome. And that's just just speed. Like you need to do it as quickly as possible. And with having this high assaults ability, you could just take down their forts super fast. And that's going to be the important thing, because once you take their forts, then it'll be a lot easier to manage a war. We are a republic, which, you know what, I don't really enjoy, but we're going to have to deal with it. Let's immediately go with improving relations with the Etruscans. We're going to try to send, we should send them a gift so we can get it done as quickly as possible. Umbria can decide. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's not their choice if they want to ally me. Because if it was their choice, then just be left up it, uh, to up, up to our RNG and then that would not be good. What do we need here? We want, what do our thing, our levies look like? Light infantry spear. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh, because the Romans have heavy infantry. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> that's actually horrible. Okay, so we want to make our most numerous troops the strongest. So I guess we go for anything here. Base metals, yeah. Yeah, I guess we go for base metals. We get Carthage. Just slightly more fences. It will help. Also, the Freeman Happiness gives more manpower. So that's that's nice. Now, the right thing to do here, considering our 
disadvantage when it comes to our levy types and overall just not being Rome, we should probably have a lot of discipline. But also, I would love to go into the siege ability. Honestly, there's not much technologies here for siege ability or siege assault ability, sorry. So I guess I should just go straight fully into discipline for now. I think that's the best way to go about things. That's definitely the best way to go about. We gotta stack up the discipline for sure. Luigi cost, it doesn't matter to me. Go here, go here. We could go down to cohorts. No, we need both of them, so we can't. Starting experience is always good as well. Oh, starting experience. And then we can... Do we get more starting experience? Supply limits. Supply limit goes south. Yeah, some more supply limits. I right, so we can make our way down here as well. Yeah, we'll just go full military. We have to. We have to. Um, Let's just go for political influence, I feel. I guess that makes sense. Fort maintenance. I have no... Oh, I don't, I don't, you don't pay for your capital for it? I didn't actually know you don't pay for your capital for it. I did not know that. Okay, political influence is probably the best thing to go for here. So we'll do that. We're in Umbilicos. No, 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 no. We cannot be on Umbilicos. To get it done as quick as possible. No. Yeah, why would we, uh, what? Why are we on Umbilicos? To get this done as quick as, quick as possible, we're going to get on Mercantile. So Atreya likes me, as, like us, likes us more. Um, because they're also on Mercantile. As you can see here, they put the uh, op opinion of others with Mercantile stance is plus 30. And just opinion of others overall in the diplomatic range is plus 20. So that's a plus 50 in total. I, I believe. I do believe. <laughs> we have low research efficiency. For now, we just cannot deal with that. For now, that we just, just doesn't matter. We cannot focus on that right now. Looking at these mercenaries, do we have any inside of our lands? No. We have some Etruscan ones. This one's okay. It's barely affordable like i mean barely as in like we can maintain it at least when it comes to like um pillaging cities we are caius caltinius we are 23 we have i believe five year yes five year terms foolish miserly that's horrible that's just bad that's just straight up bad i have nothing else to say about that he's got very good martial law that's nice very helpful into our war i think it has to be our war so if we like get pulled into a war against rome uh by the Pekensians, i don't think i'll be able to call them in and that would be terrible so something's telling me kind of just to break this alliance and just attack them but then they'll be open to rome um my hope is that rome focuses on going south maybe gets uh into conflict with epirus and then I could just blob out, right, in this area. Let's make sure no one's asking for our food, because we are not giving it to anyone. The Umbrids have long had an antagonistic relationship with the Etruscan cities. However, with greater threats emerging for both our peoples, it is time to decide whether we will continue to squabble, or if we will finally put aside our differences for our mutual benefits. Umbria will pursue friendship with Etruria. We need Etruria on our side. Okay, so... Oh, they have to actually... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on, what? <laughs> wait. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I just need them to stop planning my demise. <laughs> that would be awesome. I was gonna break my alliance with Pekentia, but... No, that would not stop them. If they attack me, that would, that would be bad, first of all. That would just be very bad. Secondly, then doesn't that just completely block off this side yeah so then <laughs> i'm screwed i'm no way i think no way hold on unless this is bypass if we're like at war because otherwise i'm completely blocked off from this side so i'm sure the the devs thought of that thought of the possibility that you want to go friendly with them but the ai still attacks you I, i'm sure they thought of that you know i've just realized i'm actively losing food even in the summer, I'm actively losing food. Um, so I guess we have to cancel these just for my survival. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with green. I'm gonna have to go with green. Yeah. Just so I don't starve. Hmm, <laughs> the Romans are planning my demise as well. It's probably because I've joined the defensive league. We could just be double teamed by the Romans and Etruscans. <laughs> 
They probably want to attack Zabinia. That's probably why they're playing my demise. Technically, it's me, but I think it's Zabinia. But no claims yet, so... Well, not until I see claims, I'll be scared. Oh, wow, they just got the claims. All right, there we go. pan Congress. The Romans actually take this mission? Envoys have arrived in Spiletium, claiming to represent the city of Roma, inviting us to a pan Italic Congress, an event for all Italic tribes of note to treat together to, to treat together and improve our ties. I mean, I don't want Rome to have a low opinion of me, so... Ooh, 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 okay. They're at war. With the Sapontines. I get to receive diplomatic events, okay? They just got claims on us. The, uh, no way. Are they actually going to attack us? That would, that would act. You're planning my demise? What? Huh? That would actually really surprise me if they attacked us. I'm going to ally the uh, Ancons because it's just why not? Might as well just stock up an. Mm, why? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh, they probably wanted to attack the Ancons, maybe. But don't. Surely you don't break your your alliance with me. It doesn't matter because we're in a defensive league anyway. So I, it actually doesn't matter if they dialogue with Rome. Rome starts guarantee. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is our turn for a private audience with the diplomats of the Romans who have been doing the rounds of the various attending countries. After all that suspense... Our delegates report that the Romans wish to offer us an oath of protection, whereby they would intervene to protect us if any nation tried to invade or molest the freedom of Umbria. Our delegates await a response to this generous offer. Oh, absolutely! Oh my god! I'm guaranteed by the Romans now! Huh? And now the Etruscans don't want to attack me! So now, I ally the Etruscans, get the mission done. Boom! Ironically, the Romans have actually saved my campaign. I don't know, I, I don't usually play in Italia, and usually when I do, I'm either Rome or the Etruscans. Um, so, obviously, as, a, as Rome, you don't choose that mission, right? You don't choose that mission. And last time I played the Etruscans, the Romans never did that. So... I'm actually surprised that this has occurred. Due to their country rank being equal under a guarantee. I'm... I... <laughs> I, I actually don't know. I, I don't know what just happened. Oh my god, they went down a rank. And because they went down a rank, we're both local powers. They don't guarantee me. They uh, ally me. How did they go down a rank? The Romans have, oh my god, they have no food. All right, okay. Umbria imports to Etruria. Imports to or exports to? We need to have a negative opinion of Umbria, of, of Rome. Rome has a, need, needs to have a negative opinion of us. How do we do that? Because they're already allied to us. Congress guaranteed. So they actually like us a lot. So that's going to be a while until we do that. I didn't realize that just gives us extra discipline and morale of armies. We're we'll getting a claim on all of Latium. Umbria will send an ultimatum to Sabinia, banning the return of our border settlement of Narnia. I think for now, since we're allied to the Etruscans and the Romans are quite busy, I think we can maybe try to go up north. Depending on how this task is completed, Umbria's posturing towards the Gauls and Cisalpine Gaul will define the outcome of the next task. What? Any neighboring country that has a primary country has less than 40% of their maximum manpower and is currently at war. So I guess if we are friendly with them then this mission will go into are they asking them to become feudatories or demanding that they that they're annexed they have to be currently at war though and they have to have less than 40 percent manpower so i guess what i should do i mean i could attack them but i can't guarantee them going to war with each other like especially these guys I don't think any of them are going to attack each other unless, like, these guys come into attack, but I can't guarantee that. That's a thing. The issue is that I cannot guarantee that that's, that will be the outcome. So either I force it and just attack them and take them down with the help of the Etruscans, which probably I should do, or I wait, hopefully, and, until they're weakened. Regardless, I have to wait, actually. So it doesn't really matter, but I think it's better to... Fuck it, we're just gonna attack them. It's just simpler. <laughs> it's just simpler to attack them. So we will 
ruin our relations with them, so we're just gonna send in some insults. Rome asks for help. I don't want to help you. I do not want to help you. Sorry. So I guess... Do we get the truce? No, we don't. Oh, so there's no truce. Okay, fair enough. Good. Do I threat? Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. No, no, no. We won't do this now. Just send the ultimatum. Ultimate sent to the Sabians. Pekene Alliance. Cities of Pekentia are filled with industrious people that yearn for friendship and brotherhood with our Umbrian kinsmen. Benefits both our nations for us to draw closer together in these perilous times. Maybe we go down to... Yes. Making them a feudatory. It's going to be equal to 25 territories. I can do that. One, oh my god. I have only eight. Oh, I did not realize how small. <laughs> I didn't realize how tiny I was. So yeah, I need to go north. Seriously, like this. Yeah, yeah, I need to go north. That just confirms it. There's nowhere else for me to grow unless I were to go into the Etruscans, which I can't now. So yeah, I just go up north. Uh, let's try to get better relations, please. Oh, we just. I don't. It didn't. That's. Oh my god, it didn't. <laughs> Come on, dude. It did not say that. I swear to not say that, unless I just didn't read. <clears throat> Alright, here we go then. So what does this mean? I'm at war with Picantiac. Fucking damn it. Actually, it's fine, because then I could just force them to become my feudatory. Then I can get these claims. Yeah, I'll just force them to become my feudatory. Fair, alright. That's actually... Actually, right. <laughs> That's actually fine. We'll just bypass that. The Senate did not like that, apparently. Which, I... Honestly had no say in that, so oh the dude, oh my god man. You do realize if you break the lines with me, you're gonna have a truce with me. And when you have that truce with me, you can attack me. I don't think they'll have enough men to fight me. They've been they've been yeah, fuck it. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, whatever. Honestly, I don't care. I don't care. I know I don't care, man. I actually don't care. It doesn't bother me because I mean let's be honest, we know how this campaign's gonna go. <laughs> Come on. I don't think any of them- Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Shit. Alright, no. That's my- I should not have done that. That was- That was impulsive. Super impulsive. What happened? Why is- Right? <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but okay. How did- What? <laughs> it's just- What? What just, what just happened? I have, I, I, I just, there's nothing else I can do but laugh at that one. There's nothing else I can do but laugh, honestly. <laughs> I just, what? How does, what kind of, a, what kind of event is that, my guy? How does, you just cannot plan for these things, that's the thing. You just cannot plan for these things. It's just things that just happen. Oh my god. You've been assaulted. <laughs> And it's salted again. This should be a stack wipe, I think. It's just because they have low manpower or low morale. Yep, stack wipe, stack wipe. Yep. That. Huh? Huh? Hello? Where's the stack wipe? Well, they're gonna do a tree here, and we'll, we'll still catch them, so it doesn't matter. So then we'll make them a feudatory, so we can maybe this will bypass. Hopefully that bypasses, because it'll already be a feudatory. So then we can get a claim on Ancona, attack them immediately. <coughs> Then get some experience, get some money, and some other good bonuses, yeah. Then that side will be done, and then, depending on what the Etruscans think of us by the end of this war, they're probably going to break the alliance. Let's be honest, they're going to break the alliance. Uh, we'll let them keep some of the population. We will then make the... Oh, no. They're tribal. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't matter at the end of the day, let's be honest, but, like... Still, I would like to complete those missions. I'd rather just full annex them. It's better safe than sorry. Ah, yeah, you don't like me because of my aggressive expansion now. Alright, so we can do that. We will seek military expansion into Cisopan Gaul. And also, I saw that they're at war. So, hopefully, they lose some manpower. And uh, we can press this button and see what happens. Okay, yeah, so that has already been bypassed. Maybe I should have made them. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. No. Um. 
Because at the very least, I can attack the Enconans, and they have no one on their side, and... I have no claims. Breaking truce? Breaking truce? What truce? I don't... I don't know why I have a truce with them. Oh, idiot, that says any neighboring. And these guys aren't actually in the war. But Lingonia is currently at war. They're in the defensive pact with them. So once I get this claim, I think I'll just go to war with them. I think I... yeah. That's what I do. When I get this claim, I go to war with the Sinodans. And... We'll be at war... and... Then we'll go from there, yeah. Oh my god, that's horrible. I need to go to war now, then. Before they break this alliance. How and why are you worth Ancona? Like, hello? Hello? How and why? How are you gonna get there? Explain. Explain. Explain the logic. How are you going to get there? How? How did you do that? You don't have military access for me. Unless you ask for military access, you cannot get there. So if you plan my demise, I'm not giving you shit. I dare you, honestly, at this point, I dare you to break that fucking, that, that alliance. That oh, where are you going? Where are you going? How are you walking through my land? Hello? He hello? Hello? What's happening? I haven't given the military access. Is it because we're allied? Oh, it must be because we're allied. Huh. Huh. Okay. I swear, if you just take Ancona and then break the alliance with me, it doesn't seem like I actually have to stay being allied with the Etruscans. Okay, at the very least, I need to get into this war and call in the Etruscans as quickly as possible. So let's actually get our levies up. Alright, let's close war. That's crazy. I'm still at a clear war because even if they break the alliance, we'll just have a truce. They'll have a truce with me, not the other way around, so... Where are you going to spawn your troops? Where, where is it? There they are. Okay. At your capital, that makes sense. Yeah, and they broke the alliance. But they have a truce with me now. So, like... <laughs> Hello? Like, what is... Civil War? I doubt that's actually going to happen. I hope so, though. Let's actually ally the Venetians, then. I can actually trust them, I feel. Uh, let's play around with this. Should we play around with our manpower? I don't think we should be really playing around with our manpower. Ah, let's do it. Screw it. Let's see what this assault ability can do. We don't have a breach. Oh, we actually do have a breach. If you don't know, breaches help with assault ability. So, the more breaches you have, the better the assault. So, does higher... I don't know, actually. I don't know if higher assault ability makes it to where I gain more assault power. Or if I just lose less manpower. I actually do not know. And I don't think there's a way for me to actually know unless I go to the wiki. You know, let's test this. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got spent 50. Oh my god, wow. I lost barely anything from that. 680? Okay. I think it's I think it's what I thought. I think it's just how much manpower you lose. So I think the higher the assault ability, the less manpower you lose assaulting. Alright, we got a breach. I think we go for it then. What happens? I mean, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. That is. <laughs> that time, I lost a lot. But it's still not bad. Not bad, I don't think. We will save the population because it's Umbrian. I think we should preemptively integrate the Lepontics because we're going to just conquer all this. We're going to conquer up to here. And I think we'll just leave them as vassal here, maybe. Maybe we just take all this. Actually, I think we just keep going. It's a lot of Lepontics. That'll be a huge amount of manpower. And levies. That's a big defensive league. Uh, that's not actually that bad. That's not that bad at all. I could I could definitely take that on, especially with, with the Venetians. I think we just continue going down. Um, it sucks that these guys are troubles because I can't make them any, I can't make any client states then. I would like to have at least a, a single client state. That would be nice. Um, because that's essentially just guaranteed troops coming to help me. Yeah, so I'm just going to full annex the Lingonians if I can. So preemptively, I'm just going to make these guys citizens in preparation for that. Oh my god, that's insanely fast though. <laughs> I expected it to be much slower, that's why I preemptively did it. I think now I have enough money to where I can kind of splurge on my capital, so... This is already going up to 30. I just need two then. So... It's a lot of money. 
but we'll do it. We'll do it for now. Ooh, that's uh, that's scary. That's actually very scary. I am. I'm actually confused. I swear I saw five thousand. Oh, are they are they not coming for me? Mm, are they not going to attack? Ah, uh, that's very alarming. I think we spend for this, or alternatively, obviously, bozo, just assault this. Just assault it. Quickly. Quickly. There we go. Okay, we're now regional power, which is nice. All right, just in time for Lepontics to be accepted. Let's see what our... Yeah, good, good, good. That's some good, good, good levies coming in. Anyways, Venodal did break their alliance with me. They will still accept an alliance because, yeah, they can attack me, idiots. I can ally Etruscans again. Fuck it, we'll go for that. They're gonna break it? Sure. Uh, actually, that's fine. It's gonna be fine because that will just create another truce with me so okay so now we can do this secure the northern border one of the greatest threats that we face is not from the south but rather from our northern border we have heard far too many tales about rampaging barbarian hordes spilling forth from the mountain passes if we want to sleep easily at night then it is best that we secure the northern border all right so what happens all right we send an ultimatum we'll see what happens oh my what <laughs> we we annex who Wait, who do we annex? We annex Araminium. Araminium? Ar what? What? Well, I'm, 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 I'm lost. Hello? What? Well, we're already at war with them, so <laughs> doesn't matter. I, I don't know what just happened. All right, we got the civilization. We got bronze documentation. This is a momentous day for people. One in which the proper methods of worshipping mighty Jupiter shall be written on bronze tablets for all posterity to cherish. All territories with settlement rank in the area or province or have no free building slots. Wow, 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 that's insane. That's actually so good. I need to do that. So, I need to build a mill. No, I can't spend my money. I need to save my money. Let's play a big battle. Hope we can block them. Where they're retreating, retreating there, block them, they can't go anywhere. Boom, boom, all right. Towards the Padan River, victory calls to our forces who have secured the mouth of the Padis River for Umbria. Press forward and head towards the mountains. Show no mercy to the Gauls foolish enough to stand and fight. That's done, we are rather large and we have more Gauls than we do Italics. That means we have a huge Cisalpine Gaul levy. That is an issue though. Because that means our governor is way larger than our Italian one. So that means they're going to be quite less soul. Yeah, 22, negative 22 to power base. And that power base is super high because of the governorship size. So I think we need to stop growing in Cisalpine Gaul. What is my cat doing? It's also one of the reasons why I do not want to conquer Veneto. I would like to at least just vassalize them. Romans are still doing Roman stuff. Still allied to Syracuse, which... I'm surprised. Wait, Syracuse has definitely lost Len. I'm surprised they haven't gone to war with the Carthaginians yet. What? How is that? And they've been in war at war with the Brutines like twice already, and they haven't full annexed them. I don't know what's going on. How is Rome is still so low on food? I think we've pretty much exhausted our expansion routes. Alternatively, I guess we could go into Illyria as well. Um. Which is not a bad idea. We can pick up some vassals as well. We could probably... What I would like to do, actually, because the yeah, Apodians are so large, I would like to attack the, the Istrians and maybe just take the land. I don't know. I don't know what I will do with this, but I'll take it, I guess, for myself. And then I'll just make a client state out of... Or not a client state, a tributary out of Yapodia, because then they won't have the malice of me declaring war on them, so it'll like me a lot more, and it'll be easier to hold them as a tributary, and there'll be some money coming in. Maybe that's what I do overall for Illyria. I don't know why I got rid of that mercenaries, because I should re really be going straight into war with the, Venet with the Venetians, but uh, too late for that. Wow, that's a lot of men. Holy shy. We need to detect them immediately. Oh, we can't. That's a lot of guys. Oh my god. What the hell? That's insane. That's insane. That's an insane amount of men. Where are you getting that from? Oh, they're tribal. 
They're tribal, I forgot, yeah. So they're gonna have a lot more men. There is the war that we need. They're actually at war with Syracuse as well, somehow. Oh my god, in the Ptolemaic Kingdom? What? So they got rid of their alliance with- Oh, this is- this is it. This is it. This is it. I mean, the Ptolemaics, we know, they're not gonna help. Let's be honest, let's be real, they're not gonna help. But at least, they're gonna be- They're gonna be occupied with Epirus. They're fighting Syracuse. Let's see how much in total they're fighting. They're fighting a lot. That means I should be declaring war. So, that's what I will be doing. Turians seem to have their troops up for some reason. Ooh, that's a big war that you're in. I would like to help you. I could help you. So you can end that war quicker. I'm not gonna end, I'm not gonna declare war on the Romans then. Because the Etruscans are in their own war. I gotta wait until the Etr Etruscans have their full attential. A attential? A attention on the Romans. Capital is running out of food. <laughs> That is less than ideal for sure. What in the... What, um... <laughs> what is that? It seems that Rome has clearly lost the war. Yeah, the war goal was for Epirus itself, and the Romans couldn't actually make it to Epirus because their navy got destroyed. Because Epirus has a significantly larger navy. Well, this is, I guess, perfect time to do something about it. We're gonna move our troops to the border, and we will also get mercenaries. We are going to declare war on Rome, specific for Latium. The reason is, I could declare war on Sabinia, but that would be for Sabinian lands, and that would guarantee that I get Tuscia or Picenium, depending on what I choose. And then, alternatively, when the Etruscans join, they can just go to Rome and will just take it for themselves. If they siege it down, they'll just take it for themselves. So, that's why I'm declaring war specifically on Rome to take Latium. So even if the Etruscans siege it down, I will still get it because that is the war goal for my war. Let's do this. There's going to be a huge initial vassal swarm against us because that's just what they do. That's just what they have. The Romans have a huge amount of vassals. My navy is useless on this side. Actually, you can go there to at least get some more score. The Etruscans just brought down their levies. I don't know why I didn't wait. Oh my god, and they have a huge slave rebellion too. It's 18,000 Romans there. I won't, I won't. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Etruscans help, Etruscans help. Oh, okay. They're gonna be making a crossing, right? So that's gonna be advantage to us, right? The Etruscans surely will help us, right? Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be okay. We might actually lose the battle. Oh, no. Reinforcements made it. Okay. <gasps> Wait. What? Cultural resentments. I, d I thought that said negative 97 because it was... <laughs> because it was red. But it's red because it's under 100%. Wow, so they don't even have that much discipline. I thought they would have a huge amount. Should we not good? Okay. So, here's a plan. We need... How did you get there? How the hell did you get there? We need you to go to Ostia, because we want to pillage as much as we can. We want to get these mercenaries moving away. Just go over there. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did the Etruscans go? Oh, they're there. Wow, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. That's... Sim that's that's interesting. That is very interesting. Critical food! They have critical food! Oh, they have no food. Oh, poor Romans. Once we take Latium... We should have enough war score. So if we can get a breach, I'm just going to assault this. We're doing so well. We have a breach. We're doing it. 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 We don't actually. Do we have this? I don't remember if we have this. We don't have. Uh, we don't have the, the, uh, the better thing, the thing to help us. But we're gonna. We're gonna do it. Yep. We're doing it. So what do I do with Rome? Oh yeah, absolutely. We sack it. Obviously, we're gonna sack Rome. Um, of course. Right. Good. Okay. You're going for my capital? Don't do that, please. Subvert Rome's allies. There we go. If we are careful with how we proceed, then there is a good chance that we could persuade Rome's feudatories to abandon their oaths of fealty and join our cause. Allies in Central Italia. During the marches of the Roman war machine, Rome has managed to accumulate a vast network of unequal treaties of alliances with tribes throughout the region. Overshadowed by Rome's vast might and prowess, almost all other states that have vied for power have been overshadowed by the, by the growth 
of the Roman state, and those who had allied Rome found themselves trapped in servitude to an undefeatable power until now. With the disaster that has been Rome's campaign into Umbria, well, it's really the other way around, our Umbro Sibelian brethren finally see that with the Roman wolf bloodied, there is finally a chance to cast away the shackles of their old masters. Join us, brothers. Together, Rome will be defeated. All Italic culture feudatories of Rome in Central Italy will be sent the option to switch sides. The option? Okay. That was just automatic. Oh, some did. Some did. Frentania, Pelignia, and Marcia have joined me. They become my feudatories. It's better than nothing. Right, yeah, now we're starving. Awesome. Awesome, and we're in winter. Sick. There seems to be a problem with this game. How is it supposed to be called Impaired to Rome if there's no Rome? I say it's false advertising. As you can see, the Romans have completely disappeared. Don't ask me, I don't know what happened to them. But now that we have finally dealt with the Latin threat in the south, I think it's time we end this episode here. We still have more missions to do, we have more development. We can go deeper into Magna Gratia, or actually, yeah. We do go deeper into Magna Gratia. We can declare the Umbrian Federation. Not only do we go deeper into Magna Gratia, but uh, we gotta deal with our ancient rivals. The beginning of this campaign was really stressful. <laughs> it was really stressful because, you know, obviously, very hard start. But of course, we all know how this is gonna end up. The player has the ultimate advantage over the AI. Br a, a brain. We, we have brains. But yeah, anyways, it's been Alton, signing out. See ya.